Back with our mayoral discussion with three of the candidates. Six are running, the other three coming next week. Susan? Well, all of you mentioned affordable housing and homelessness is certainly one of the issues that the city has been trying to solve for a long time. Mayor O'Hara had, had a plan and some of that's been put into effect. How, how do we solve that? We do seem to have a lot of homeless people in our city and go down Broadway and you can see them every day. So, Marshall, I'll start with you. Uh, you're part of this administration on the on city council. So what have you all been doing and is it working? Right, no, I mean, it's obviously a challenge. It's a challenge for Knoxville. It's a challenge for cities uh, across the country. You know, I mean, it's, and it, uh, you know, but we, we, we can definitely do better. And, uh, you know, it starts with what I talked about earlier, keeping people in their homes. We started a plan uh, with Volunteer Ministry Center, going out into the community, getting people, social workers, to get them on a path to housing. And I think that's where we have to be creative. Uh, the idea we can, you know, build build buildings and staff them, we just don't have the resources for that. So I think we're gonna have to work with our partners uh, and be more creative about finding uh, different, different units to get people in housing. Then we can address some of their issues they're dealing with, whether it's mental issues, drug addiction, you know, education, job training, those type of things. So, uh, and I think we need the state involved. You know, uh, they used to be really involved. They're not. They're no longer uh, part of part of the solution. So we got to get them back at the table. Mr. Skinner, yeah, we are in a crisis, uh, but there is opportunity. There is hope when we think about the uh, nonprofits, faith institutions who are already doing the work. Uh, how can we plug in uh, to them? bring them to the table, even expand their capacity. I even think about my national network, uh, having friends uh, who are doing the great work, such as Alexander McBride, who's Chief Resiliency Officer of the City of Oakland, where her sole job is to figure out these issues. And I think about even uh, partners who are doing work around mental illness, like NAMI Knoxville. Uh, there are people who are doing the work, there are resources out there, uh, where we don't have to necessarily uh, stretch ourselves, but recognize that there's, there's uh, resources money-wise, but there's also resources through people and organizations, making sure we're pulling them in. Eddie? Yeah, I think the mayor of Louisville, Kentucky, says it best. To be an effective mayor, you, you need to have the mind of a CEO and the heart of a social worker. And those two issues with affordable housing and homelessness are a crisis. They are both crisis in this city. And earlier today, we released a policy on homelessness. We released a policy, our policy on affordable housing, a few weeks ago, but you know, it's time we stop talking about homelessness and really take action. And I think if, if you look at homelessness as the big challenge that it is, it is just overwhelming. And so my approach would be to look at the veterans who are on the street living in homeless situations. We should never allow that as community. And I will be proactive with making sure our veterans get off the street. If you go to the other side and then look at those individuals who are aging out of foster care, at 18 years old with no place to go, they can go to the steps of CARM. We lose them forever into homelessness. We must do better with our foster, with the kids that are aging out of foster care as well. Those would be my two attacks, and then I would work inward. We've got less than a minute uh, on the scooter question. Just a yes or no. <laughs> Should they be can allowed to stay in the city? Eddie Manis, yes or no? Oh, man, first on that question. Yeah. Uh, I think the scooters are cool. Yes, I just think there needs to be a little more rules and abiding by the rules. Mr. Skinner. They're fun, but there's a need for management. I've seen in other cities where eventually the scooters are seen scattered all over the city. So we got to make sure that doesn't happen here. But you keep them for now. For now, it's fun. <laughs> We're in a pilot program. Uh, <laughs> I voted on it. So yeah, definitely, definitely keep them. But we've, you know, the concerns riding on the sidewalk and then the parking. Uh, we've got, you know, people, we have bike racks. We need to find some way to, to corral them, to keep them off the sidewalks, especially right. for the, the ADA, you know. Uh, Compatible. Right. All right. More candidates to come. We'll see three more next week. Thanks for joining us on Inside Tennessee.